Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and full review of this new fit smartwatch with call answer function and a very large screen of 46 millimeters. And of course it comes with a lot of fitness tracking activity, heart rate, sleep monitoring, SPO2, blood pressure and 23 sport modes. And so here we have it. Let's take it out. We can remove this screen protector. Comes also with an additional watch band. Very nice. This is plastic watch band. And here we have the metal watch band. So we have the choice. And here of course the magnetic proprietary charging cable. So we connect this to the back. We'll easily find out how it comes because it only fits in one direction. We can also remove this protection here and we give it a full charge and then we are going to connect. And so when we connect it, it's actually powering on and gives us also the battery percentage which is really nice and then when we remove it we have already the screen we can see large screen with a lot of information and so after it's fully charged it's ready to connect by the way here is the bag you can see that it's very easy to replace the watch bands so it's super easy if you love plastic then you can use this one that's also me but if you love more metal or stepless i mean that's the big advantage here it's absolutely stepless you can secure it in any kind of position with this flap here it's absolutely awesome so while we have these steps here it's absolutely stepless so this would fit virtually to every person and so you can see it's very easy to hook it up here you could even buy and use any kind of other 22 millimeter standard watch band then here we have also some description i hope it's focusing nicely so you can see everything but it's very easy to use actually but it gives some first impression on what we can do with the watch and with the app and for the app we have to download the glory fit that's a well-known app which i've already been using a lot and it has always been working really good so we can either scan the code or go directly to the app store and download and install the app and so after setting up the device and logging in we can select the device and of course we have to give all authorization to make sure it can use all data and can also pair the device properly. So we have it here, it says P66W and so we click on it and then it's connecting, connection successfully and so we can see also the connection icon here. So here we are after wearing the watch now for about one Day and it has been working really good. Of course, none of these watches are perfect, not even Apple Watch or Android Wear. All these watches have their pros and cons, so I'm going to show you everything now. The watch itself with the band and everything seems to be very good, very comfortable, sturdy. Yeah, it's large, large display, everything good, visible. So I'm focusing now on the watch itself. And what I really liked was the large screen that's super helpful when you have such a large screen with such uh, good watch faces which show all the information here, the date, time, uh, whether we can even invoke the call function, we can invoke the music control, we can start exercising, we can start breeze training directly from here, we see even the heart rate. Uh, we see the calories, steps, so much information. It's very hard to find a watch which shows so many information directly on one watch face. Then of course we have the status information, we have the not disturb, we have the brightness control which we can reduce to very dim for example for the night or make very bright out for outside. I've tested this for outside and it was really good visible which is hard to find. A lot of these watches are hard to see outside, no problem with this one here. So also we get a lot of notifications. I'm going to show you that later. Unfortunately it doesn't have a sensor with a brightness control so it would adapt inside outside or also for example during the night you have to adjust this manually. Then we can search for the phone. We have also shortcut here to the call functions and then we can change the menu 
uh, appearance here. I love actually the most simple one here. And then we have the settings also directly from here. Yeah, I mean, usually it's responsive. I mean, I wouldn't call the uh, touch screen super responsive, but I would say it's responsive enough. On the right side, we have the current steps and miles and calories which we burned during the day. This is automatically done. We don't have to start this. And then we have the continuous heart rate detection and we see the current uh, history for the day and the high and the low. And here we have the blood pressure measurement. You can see and on the right side we have the SPO2 and here we have the sleep with all the details and here we have weather information even for the whole week which is really nice and the music again and we can start the exercise yeah, by the way yeah let's start with exercise we can start this here very easy we have a lot of different sports modes what's really good that we can see the time because of course this watch is usually not multitasking so it's important to have the current time here a lot of uh, such watches are not showing the current time so it's a good thing and we can stop it here usually of course when it's too short then it's not recording but there are a lot of things you can see really really nice and then we are at the maximum on the right side and we can go back to the main menu and down here we have all the information the good thing we can also delete single information till it's empty and there's a large screen that can show a lot of information and on the left side of the main menu we have all the different functions again like the call function by the way call function we can really make phone calls from here we have the dials we can call a number directly from here of course it's using the phone we cannot add a sim card here inside but it's using the phone and it has a good quality microphone and speaker built in i've tested this it was amazing i've been calling a couple of people and they didn't even uh, notice that i was calling from the watch that's really really nice then we have the call log all the contact information which we can import from our phone up to 100 different contacts i have some business contacts here which i've imported so i can show you that no problem uh, really nice we can call it directly from here and we can turn it on or turn it off the call functions that's very very good best call function and by the way i didn't have to add a second bluetooth connection to use call function it works just with the normal connection from the app no additional bluetooth connection needed and that's a huge advantage i can tell you otherwise when you have to add a separate bluetooth connection then it will use the microphone speaker for everything it can be very difficult to use the phone and so that's a huge advantage so it's just using the microphone speaker for the calls and for nothing else and here we have most of the functions which we have already seen even the state current state what we have done heart rate blood oxygen sleep tracking blood pressure weather music messaging breath training everything which we have seen before and even more functions stopwatch and the timer i don't know why they have created the second page i mean stopwatch and timer should belong to the first page but this is pretty much standard a lot of watches have this on a separate page uh, so we can use the stopwatches very good thing on the stopwatch is that we can use the hardware button to start and stop this is very rare to find i love this thing here and the timer has a few predefined timers but we can add uh, our own time which is also very helpful up to 24 hours i think the maximum and then we have the countdown running in the background that's also really good so we have at least the timer uh, running uh, in multitasking mode so when the timer is running like that we can go back to the main screen and use everything and it's still running in the background and it will vibrate then after that after the time is has been running out that's awesome so you can see we can go back but it's a little bit hard to find it here you can see it's still running in the back and then we have the settings here with the different watch faces there are these standard watch faces one two three 
uh, 4, 5 and plus the one which we download from the app. I'm going to show you that later so you can only replace one of them. But this is also pretty much standard. Then also different menu settings, brightness, info, QR code and off and factory reset. So we have everything here what we need actually. And then let's go to the app and we have a lot more information of course here in the app. We have the home which is the current information from the day and the heart rate recording when we have activated 24 7 recording. We can see a lot of information here and we can also go back let's say to the last day these things. Then we have the sleep records. We can uh, have an overview also for the week and months. And we have a lot of information. You can see that. Then we have the blood pressure monitoring. Of course, there's no 24 seven. You have to do that on your own blood oxygen recording. You can see I have activated 24 seven recording. You can adjust the time. You can see different records here. Then we have the sports recording with the last recordings which we have done. Of course, you can start recording from here, but here are the recordings which I've done from the watch. You can see the details. And what's really nice here, the steps. I've been testing this on a treadmill. I started it done for exactly five minutes or I mean a little bit more than five minutes and the treadmill was showing 693 and then I was checking here and it showed also 693 recorded from this watch so it didn't miss a single step absolutely awesome very precise and then here on the device, we have all the settings. We can turn on blood oxygen monitoring 24-7. Here's everything about the Bluetooth connection, then different watch faces. We have the dial center. You have to wait for a little bit. Takes some time, then we can go down. And there are a lot more. You have to be a little bit patient. Then it's loading, loading. You can get even more watch faces. You can download them all for free to your smart watch really really nice a lot of watch faces then can turn on and off uh, 24 7 heart rate monitoring blood oxygen monitoring and turn on the call reminder that we can get uh, the call information and can take a call make the call and so on here sms same thing but we have a lot of more apps which you can turn on for notification here are the main applications but we can add more it's really nice so we can add all the apps which you have on our phone here and get notifications on our watch that's really really rare and very helpful and important don't underestimate it a lot of smartwatches have just a few predefined apps and other than that you can't get any information then sedentary reminder of course smart alarm clock we have only three alarms which you can set but we can uh, activate or deactivate all of them and we can choose also different uh, days it has been working really good the vibration cannot be adjusted but it's strong enough it's not too strong but it's strong enough to wake you up at least it worked definitely for me but there's nothing here on the watch we cannot uh, adjust the alarm times on the watch and we cannot activate or deactivate it from the watch itself then the raise hand to activate the display. We can turn it on uh, or turn it off. Uh, the wrist gesture here has been working usually really good. Uh, the only thing is we cannot activate like a schedule or so. So it won't automatically stop during the night. Uh, I wished they would add a schedule here so we could automatically have no wrist gesture activation during the night. So you have to uh, turn it off during the night if you don't want that. Then the do not disturb. You have to be careful regarding the no do not disturb. It will also deactivate the alarm. Then it won't wake you up in the morning. Also the timer won't work. Then you have to be a little bit careful with these things. Then we have also universal settings. And the most important here is the on screen time, which we can change between 5 seconds, 10 seconds and 15 seconds.
And of course, we can also change the units and time system and language, these things here. And then we have the personal information. We have training plan, target steps. And uh, what we can do here is the third party access. We can connect it to Google Fit. That's the only thing, but at least we can connect it to Google Fit. A lot of people are using that. And we have also a weekly overview. That's a really nice thing. Probably one of the best screens which you can find in this app. And it gives you a really nice overview about almost everything which you have done. You can see that here about the sleep, distance, calories, steps, heart rate. Absolutely awesome. And it gives you also more information like uh, about the exercise, even some text information. This is absolutely fantastic, this page. I love this thing. It gives me so much information. And so we also want to check the battery and we still have 86%. So I have no doubt that this will last for one week with only one charge. So we definitely get a lot with this watch. Absolutely amazing. All the information, all the functions. It's really beautiful, very informative, very comfortable to wear. And so if you're interested into this watch, uh, I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and I hope you've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, thanks for watching, see you next time.